Hi everybody, we are playing Elden Ring, which is um, a new game I'm going to start playing for non-Souls players and also for beginners, because I'm a non-Souls player myself. Uh, so I'm going to show you a series which helps to uh, find you a easier route through the game, a more accessible route, so you can uh, achieve better things in this game, because it's quite difficult. So let's start by creating ourselves a character. We have a Vagabond, which is uh, main stats are Dexterity, Strength and Vigor. He's got a sword and a shield. Next up we have the Warrior. The main stats are Dexterity, Strength is quite low, uh, Mind, Vigor, Endurance. And he's got two swords and a shield. The hero, main stats are strength, endurance, vigor. He's got an axe and a shield. Bandit, we've got uh, dexterity, arcane, mind. Astrologer, uh, we have intelligence, dexterity and mind. That's probably more of a spellcaster. He's also got a sword and a shield and a staff. Prophet is uh, faith, mind. Samurai has dexterity, vigor, endurance, and strength. The prisoner has dexterity and intelligence, and a bit of arcane, so a bit of a mixture. The confessor is faith. Mind, Strength and Dexterity And the Wretch, level 1 And rank 10 everything, so much lower Probably for your uh, Dark Souls harder types <laughs> So uh, I'm thinking I might start with the Vagabond Seems like a kind of a melee defensive type um, with a chance of a bit of spell casting as well later on. You can choose your age. You can change your keepsake. So I've marked here on the keepsakes the three that are recommended by other playing guides uh, as being good starting keepsakes. Lands Between Rune gives you many runes to help you gain levels, which is useful. Golden Seed will help you improve your health flasks. Crimson Amber Medallion increases maximum HP. Hanged in Bashes will um, give you diminutive golems that you can summon to attack. Cracked Pot is uh, for crafting items. Stone Sword Key will help you to break seals on imp statues inside dungeons, which is pretty useful. Bewitching Branch, five sacred branches charged with beguiling power. Oh, and don't forget the Boiled Prawn. Five pieces of Boiled Prawn boosts physical damage negation, or because nobody wants to go near you. So Brewery's Woe. Uh, attracts enemies aggression, so that's more of a tanking item, I guess. So I'm going to choose the Crimson Ember Medallion. Probably not recommended. You can choose your attacking voice. You're taking damage voice. You probably hear it a lot. I'll go with mature. Could choose your skin colour. I might go for a nice uh, nice tanned charcoal colour. Like he's you know spent too much time around the fire. And uh, there's quite a lot of uh, face and head and hair customizations you can do in here 
I won't spend a lot of time on this. I'll just choose something that looks very vaguely resembling myself. <laughs> Save preference. Alright. Yep, let's start with this game character. I'm not going to waste too much time on the customization pages. The fallen leaves tell a story. is nowhere to be found. And in the night of the Black Knives, Godwin the Golden was first to perish. Soon, Marika's offspring, demigods all, claimed the shards of the Elden Ring. The mad taint of their newfound strength triggered the shattering. A war from which no lord arose. A war leading to abandonment by the greater will. Oh, rise now, ye tarnished, ye dead who yet live. The call of long lost grace speaks to us all. Oralu, chieftain of the Badlands, the ever brilliant Gold Mask. Fear, the deathbed companion, the loathsome Dung Eater, and Sir Gideon Ophnir, the all knowing. again bless a tarnished of no renown you're talking about me i think they're talking about me cross the fog to the lands between to stand before the elden ring And become the Elden Lord. Okay, epic intro there. So um, this game was written by uh, Hidetaka Miyazaki uh, and directed by him also. And they've also credited George R. R. Martin for the story writing as well. He's from uh, Game of Thrones fame, of course. And there's an item here to collect. Village the remains. Tarnished wizened finger. Are the 
path be broken and uncertain, claim your place as Elden Lord. Mm-hmm, sounds easy. Where do I sign up? You can see these uh, white ghosts, these are other players who have been in this area just recently. You can see what they've done. Kind of a neat feature. Why is it always the door? Good point. Let's push that door. Okay, here we are. Chapel of Anticipation. Like a dream. More like an epic vista. The message was going to say, don't jump. <laughs> okay, there's the castle. So other players have left messages around the place. I think you can write some as well using the finger. First off, attacking. So this is on PlayStation, Xbox, and PC. I'm playing on PC, so. See, I'm using the left mouse button to attack. Right mouse button to shield. Next back boss. Okay, I'm going to rate that one. Obviously, there's a boss coming up. As I said before, I'm not a Dark Souls player, so I'm hoping to show people a, an easier route through this game for players who are not Dark Souls players, or maybe just beginning players who need to uh, find an easy route through the game, because it is quite difficult. And uh, I've done a lot of research into which areas and which monsters to fight first and so forth, which items to collect. I'm hoping to impart some of this knowledge. And uh, feel free to leave comments down below as well if there's anything else that you can offer to help players out. Death. <laughs> Strong foe ahead. Okay, I might uh, lord that one. It looks like our first boss encounters right here. Here we go, crafted Scion. Try and roll. <laughs> Yeah, no. <laughs> I think that's actually part of the story, to die straight away. Otherwise you wouldn't see these scenes. So I guess don't feel bad if you die straight away, because it is part of the story. One of his kind is sure to seek the Elden Ring. Mm. Even if it does violate the Golden Order. Could that one be me?
Go on mate, get up. We got things to do. Places to go. Enemies to kill. Can't just lie around all day. Alright, so we're in a dungeon or a crypt or something. Got our first flask of crimson tears, which is a health restore. The flask of cerulean tears, which is a uh, magic restore or a FP restore. I think they call them focus points in this game. Cave of knowledge. Cave of Knowledge, jump down the hole and you'll find the Cave of Knowledge. There you can learn more about the game controls and basic actions, as well as other tips that may be helpful during your adventures. So yes, highly recommend going into the Cave of Knowledge, learning some fighting techniques. Take the plunge, Brave Tarnished. Of Learning and Remembrance. Recall the arts of war and your warrior's blood. Yes, yeah, the warrior's blood part I'm worried about. <laughs> Let's go. Hey, nice boulder. I love what you've done with the place. A few bodies scattered around, you know. Nice touch. First off crouching and then behold dung. Yeah, won't be doing that. Sights of Grace. Resting at a side of grace will restore your HP, FP and cleanse any status ailments. It'll also refill your sacred flasks. However, most enemies you've defeated will be revived. You can find Sights of Grace by going where light converges. Okay, so it's like a reset point, or a checkpoint. Note the enemies will be revived though, it's important. And later on these also become points where you can um, teleport around the map too, as well. If only I had an Elden Ring. Okay, there's not much help going on here, just comments. Okay, we have a zombie, because, you know, there's always a zombie in these games. He went down like a sack of potatoes. Touch the bloodstain. We can watch our colleagues die. left click for a uh, strong attack. Let's watch another death here on the bloodstain. Uh, my pancreas. Guarding. Use an armament in your left hand or both hands to guard against incoming attacks. Guarding is especially effective when done with a shield. Guarding consumes stamina. Click for the shield. And block an attack. You can avoid enemy attacks by dodging, roll or backstep. These actions also consume stamina. Let's try some rolling. at me bro. You watch him telegraph these attacks. <laughs> They're pretty obvious in the training area of course. Dodged him. Okay let's roll out of this attack. Oh, 
have to jump. Okay, that's weird. Well, I have to remap some of these controls, I think. Old fruit. Mm hmm. Take some fruit. In every corner of lands between, you will find fruits and flowers, mushrooms, and butterflies. Must be like crafting items. Okay, we've got a guard up ahead with a shield and a big pike. Shield up. Building armaments. Each hand can be equipped with up to three armaments, allowing you to toggle between them. Armaments can also be two-handed, making attacks more difficult to repel, with shields and boosting effective strength by 50%. Press E and right click for the shield, or press E and left click for the sword. Let's do the shield. Come at me, bro. Come get some. silly just sitting there with my shield. Let's smack him with the shield. Oh yeah that works. Maybe a shield bash. And the face. Okay well that was a weird experience. <laughs> Pummel someone to death with a shield. Have a quick look at the keyboard mappings here on the PC. Key bindings. Space for backstep, dodge and roll and dash. X for crouch. Targeting hasn't been mapped. Yeah, I'm going to have to change some of these up, I think. Some of them aren't very intuitive. Luckily, there is some uh, recommended key mappings on the web, so I might just uh, map some of those later. I'll show you what they are. Press Control for skill. Hmm. Okay, so control mouse wheel changes the item in the bottom left. Then press R to use the healing bottle. Message. Thank you. Thank you for making me read a useless message. This guard's got a crossbow on my shield. Oh, this oh. Oh. <laughs> he just went straight over the edge. I'll see you later, mate. Not going down there to loot him. Skills. Armaments have special abilities called skills. Skills are highly varied and range from powerful attacks to temporary effects. Using skills consumes focus points. So that's control for me on the PC. Okay, you can swing your uh, shield. You have to block an attack and then do it. Yeah. 
Crouching. Crouching can make it harder for enemies to discover you, especially effective in tall grass. Let's creep up on this guy. Stab him in the spleen. Raise the rump. Let's go through the grass. Surprise! Stance breaking. Some attacks may break an enemy's stance, giving you a chance to perform a critical hit. Charge attacks and jump attacks make it particularly easy to break an enemy's stance. Hold shift left click, or hold shift left click while jumping. Let's give it a go. of America. Upon dying you will be revived at the last site of grace that you visited. However, if there's a stake of America near where you died, you can choose to be revived in there instead. Here's America. She's pretty armless. Ooh, what have we here? Soldier of Godric. First little mini boss. Guard counters. You can perform a counter attack immediately after blocking an enemy attack. Guard counters make it easy to break an enemy's stance. Shift right click. Block. Shift right click. Counter attack. Him. Let's try again. Block. Shift right click. Oh yeah, it's pretty effective. Right on the gallbladder. Okay guys, that's the end of this episode for now. Click like and subscribe to see more videos and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.